Thursday the 4th of July 2019. I am using Tarot of the 78 Doors. I know, it's a firm favourite on the channel, isn't it? I always want to call it Doors and Locks and Whips and Chains for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. We'll have to see. It gives a certain acerbic kind of reading but we're ready for it okay because this week it's been some interesting readings they're a bit strange and they're quite challenging and me being me I like to lean into the challenging energy and not run away from it so we're not glittering we're leaning in you want to come out Ooh. Oof. Okay, let's not speak. You. <laughs> oh, Tower of the 78 Doors. Right. Let's do. I'm going to show you we're shuffling, okay? Because people say to me, there's a lot of reversals. There are today. There's a lot of reversals, but I was kind of expecting it. That card, right, was at the bottom when I decided to just do that shuffle and I took it off the bottom and it's still there. Okay. Wow. We're being strong on, do you remember yesterday, and this may only be one story thread for a small number of you. Do you remember yesterday we got that fantasy card in the Chuck Spezzano? Yeah, what can I say? Okay. <laughs> Moon in reverse. It's come up nearly every day, if not every day, in different tarot packs. Moon in reverse is a card of awakening. It's a rude awakening though, and it's a rude awakening if you are betwixt and between eclipses. There's no doubt about that. Moon rude awakenings are to do with shaking down the kaleidoscope of fantasy back to its original colours. Okay, so if you can imagine that, it's necessary and it's sometimes a bit emotionally brutal and it feels like overall energy card seven of cups in reverse you can see we're on this theme of debunking fantasy here this woman is asleep and dreaming of all kinds you've got the scream you've got the dragon you've got the snake no it's the dragon's tail you've got angels you've got gold You've got all of the fantasy elements. When the Seven of Cups goes into reverse, it's really important. And it's probably better that it's in reverse. But when you're checking it against other cards, if you've got the Moon in reverse, Cups is to do with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Moon is a Pisces card. But because Pisces is ruler, it used to be Neptune, okay? We have the twisty turny thing again, but it's more, it is settling that kaleidoscope. It is letting things fall into place that are uncomfortable because we also have the eight of cups again in reverse, which is Saturn in Pisces. Okay. Saturn in Pisces. There's always someone in the eight of cups taking a lonely shuffle off. Do you remember the other day we talked about the big cheers then? You know, cheers then. <laughs> it doesn't always feel good at the time. And then this card, which I tried to avoid as best as I could by doing some shuffles, but decided it was coming out anyway. The Six of Cups in reverse, the Karmic Relationship card. Karmic Relationship card. Six of Cups in reverse, Seven of Cups in reverse, Eight of Cups in reverse in a well-shuffled pack which has been used many times and the moon in reverse okay and then look we've got 
the hangman in reverse. We had the hangman the other day, which is Neptune in the tarot. And in this version, I'll show it you in the upright because it's easier to see. I love this version. I love this tarot pack, actually. It is great, isn't it? I'll be, I'll be honest. I use it when I know we're in a pattern of rough reads. <laughs> if I know that the energy is challenging, it's time to get the 78 doors out. Because each tarot pack that I own has a different sort of, and it changes as well. It's not the same feeling all of the days, because I never have the same feeling about anything all of the days. But each one you will get an intuition towards that it needs to be that. And it's not, it can't be because you want a better reading. It can't be because you want it to be more comfortable. It can be if you're having a really bad time, you know, I might turn to the Doreen Virtue um, Angel Tarot. If I, and do only uprights if we really need a sort of spiritual cleanse because there's been a run of difficult readings but if you're in the thick of it which I suspect some of you are Tower of the 78 Doors is going to get to the point it just does it's like the friend or relative or mum or whatever that you ask for advice because you know they're going to level with you you know they're going to just go and you may hate them for it, you know, and you may feel uncomfortable, but you sort of needed it. And that's why you asked them. Hangman in reverse is that card of momentum. I think we had it yesterday, actually. It's that, you know, as Sylvia Plath said, you've boarded the train, there's no getting off. The worm has turned in a situation that was karmic. And it's a situation that although the worm has turned, and I know for my Cancerian followers, I call it the ferry turning, the emotional ferry. But it just feels like events haven't quite caught up with it yet. So in other words, you're being cleansed of fantasy. You're being brought to reality. A karmic relationship is showing you its backside, you know, it's that kind of thing. Do you remember we had the Thief and the Lady of Sorrows yesterday? We also have here the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles will always show you some kind of home scenario. This is a tree house. And there's the doors. I haven't looked for the doors in the other one. It is the meat and potatoes card. It's how you cement things. Something isn't real. Something isn't real. You're caught in a kind of a fantasy which is going to be debunked in July. And I wouldn't like to say when or how because that's what eclipses are for and that's what retrogrades are for. What Mercury retrograde can do, and we have the Queen of Cups here in the upright, thank God, is cast a spell on you during its retrograde season it casts a spell on you almost like a spiritual anesthetic where you get to suspend your beliefs about certain things while it shows you things particularly to do with fantasy or reality or just things you need to know so you're coming into knowing and when the eight of cups is in reverse you might not be ready to leave something yet and that's okay because it's a rare thing that you find a human who can just go, oh, I know now, cheers then, bye. You know, that's not really the way we work. We're messy and this situation is messy. Now at the bottom, the nine of pentacles, the independent person card, finding that inner strength. It may be a long passage to this, but the worm has turned, you're on your way, okay? The momentum is there. Brian and Wendy Freed are flinging cards across the floor. Let's see if I can do this without falling over. <laughs> oh my God, okay. <laughs> right. The returning. You come back into the room. The room hasn't changed, but you have. You can't see things the same way because something has changed, the filter has dropped, the scales have fallen from your eyes, okay? It's a funny kind of energy. Now, we are using Wisdom of the Hidden Realms, I think. Yes, 
Colette Baron Reed. And these again, if I'm doing a reading that is a bit um, challenging, these oracle cards call out to me. Ooh. Very often this happens. Right, we get the altar priestess who's the kind of money shot card for this pack. She is on the front. Preparation, prayer, sacred ritual. Think of it in terms of a high priestess, of being in preparation for changing something, okay? And the metal king, discipline, armour and boundaries. That's something that is beneath, will be expressed outside, okay, as well. Good. and there will be relief we get celebration with a full moon that usually means for me it's got something to do with moon cycles okay this may not come to pass until the next eclipse which i think is in december but who knows what the timing is it's the kind of that's not really the important part the important part is to know that the downloads are happening that the worm is turning and that that necessarily will play out in real life at the right time, but you don't need to be concerned with that, okay? Oh, made me scratch my head. Please leave me a comment. Check out your July readings for your star sign and the pick a card readings as well might be useful at the moment and I'll see you soon. Namaste.